Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will be talking about another very easy solo gold farm that you can do multiple times a day and that can reward you with quite a lot of gold. So in order to do this farm all you need is to have a character that is level 30 or more and also you want to have this toy right here, the Fractured Necrolite Skull. This toy can be purchased during the time working event for the Burning Crusade and as you can see you will only need 750 of the time wrap badges in order to purchase this toy. So right now the event just started today so you have one week to purchase this toy and then the next moment this event will be up will be in June so really try to do it now because otherwise you will have to wait until June before you will be able to buy this toy again. And keep in mind that in order to get a lot of um, time wrap badges very easily, all you can do is go and complete one of the random time working dungeons. You will receive already 500 of the time wrap badges. And then you can do a few more dungeons and normally you will be able like that to get the 750 required in order to buy the toy. So then with this toy, basically all you want to do is just target any critters wherever you are in World of Warcraft, click on the toy and it will sacrifice the critter and summon a portal that will then teleport you in front of the black temple. So there you have two different routes that you can do. The one that will really just require you one minute is to simply go check if Doomworker, the world boss who is just at the entrance of the black temple is up or not, kill him if he's up. I would always say that it's better if you have war mode on because then you are able to just go quickly remove Wamodon in one of the very near cities and then you can come back and check if Doomwalker is up in Wamodov or not. But there is a second route that you can also do and that will maybe require this time 5 minutes. So again, all you want to do is teleport, go and check if Doomwalker is up or not. Then after that, you want to go directly on your left and here you will be able to maybe find a chest. So just check if the chest is up or not. And then you want to go up and you want to try and find the rare cold collider. So it's all around the edge of the cliff. So we really just go all around the edge and maybe you will have a chance at finding him. And then you just want to fly back to the altar of Shatar, this little town. Here you will have one vendor that you can go and talk to. Make sure to, sh to ask him to show all the binds when equipped items that he's selling. And sometimes he will be selling two green items that are very rare and that you can then sell on the auction house for quite a lot of gold. Then you just want to go inside the main building inside this village. And here you want to remove one mode on. And then you want to do exactly the same thing, but in reverse. So just go check if the vendor has the items. Then just go check if Colitis is up or not. And finally, go back and check if Doomwalker is up or not. And like that, you will have a chance of getting a lot of very interesting transmog items. So with Doomwalker, you will have a chance of getting some very interesting weapons and over transmog items. So as you can see, for instance, you have this gun. Uh, you have this axe. This is probably the best one you can get from this world boss. You also have this dagger. And then a few more items that can still be sold for quite a lot of gold on the auction house. Keep in mind, the ones that are the most interesting are the ones that have a unique appearance. So really the, the axe and the dagger are going to be the best ones. And then when you kill Colitis, you will also have a chance at getting these very cool and very unique uh, transmog items. And all of them can really be sold for quite a lot of gold. So definitely something that is always nice to have up on your auction house. And as you can see, you will be able to have one male, one plate, one cloth, and one lever. So you can really kill him multiple times until you get the four different type of appearances. And finally, of course, when it comes to the vendor, you will have a chance at getting one weapon in particular that can be very interesting. And this is this one right here, the Warporn Spear. As you can see, this is a pretty cool uh, weapon. And this is a unique appearance. So again, you can then sell it for, on average, 30k gold. So definitely worth checking the vendor just in case. So this is really an easy gold farm that you can do. Keep in mind the skull can be used on all your characters that are level 10 or more. And there is a one hour cooldown so you can do it multiple times a day. And again, you don't have to do the full 5 minutes route. You can just go check if Doomwalker is up or not and then use your Earthstone and go back to your main city. So this is really something extremely easy. I actually got the ID from one of my viewers who recommended to use this uh, skull. Before that, I never really even 
try to use this toy. I just added it in my college fund and never really used it. So it's definitely useful. And since I've started to use it, I've been able to really kill the worker so many times. As you can see, I got a lot of these different uh, weapons, a lot of these different armor pieces. So this is really the easiest way for you to try and get a chance at killing Doomwalker. And hopefully you will be able to make a lot of gold with this very easy gold farm. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I will be back very soon with more guys and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great Wednesday. Bye.